This guy here makes $1.3 million a year with zero employees. This guy makes 2.7. And this guy, he makes $20 million a year and has nobody else working for him. And there's literally no reason why you can't do the same. All you're short is an idea. So today I'm revealing two multi-million dollar business ideas that you need zero employees to run. And we also have an app idea that every parent in the world needs. Welcome to the only channel on YouTube serving up business ideas hotter than a polar bear at a hot yoga class. First we need a cup of tea. We are very lucky. 20 years ago, people were paying thousands of dollars to hear some of the world's leading experts speak. But thanks to podcasts, it's now free and instant. Want information on health? Go to Huberman. If you want information on psychology, go to Peterson. There are so many podcasts out there with a wealth of information. But here's the problem time. Podcasts are getting longer and longer and I'm afraid in our busy lives we just don't have the opportunity to listen to hundreds of hours worth of podcasts every week. An app called Blinkist saw this in the book space. What they do is they provide short bite-sized summaries of books. So let's use them as inspiration for our own solopreneur venture. Here's the idea. Create a platform that provides short, bite-sized summaries of informational podcasts. Users would sign up for the podcast for a small monthly fee and be able to access short five to 10 minute long episodes of informational podcast summaries. The summaries would be generated using AI. So technically you could build a script that automates the whole thing, voices and all. Now this wouldn't necessarily work for entertainment based podcasts. So what you're doing is you're focusing on informational based ones like the Huberman Lab, making sense with Sam Harris, Lex Freeman, and so on. Start with a handful of podcasts, generate summaries of these podcasts, and to get traffic, comment below the episodes of the YouTube video podcast themselves. You monetize through subscription fees. If you're technical, you're sorted. If you're not technical, you might need to invest a little bit in getting the platform and technology singing together and having a developer on hand for any bugs and fixes. But otherwise, once it's developed, you can let it run itself and focus on marketing. If you want to keep this running with zero employees, this would be a phenomenal cash flow business. But if you really want to get rich, you could hire some people like Blinkist did and exit. They were acquired last year for $100 million by Geo One. This particular business would be of great interest to some large podcast plays like Stitcher or Castbox. Time to introduce today's sponsor. Ah, ah, ah. It's not actually a sponsor. It's just me and my newsletter, Half-Baked. This thing. It's the world's number one business idea newsletter. According to who, you ask? Well, according to my mom and these people. We send you two business ideas a week and it is completely free. So subscribe with the link down below. Let's move on. If you're offered a sheet, a sheet. If you're offered a sheet on the rocket ship, don't ask what seat. Sheryl Sandberg, former CEO of Facebook said this, but she was not referring to a rocket. She was talking about joining an early stage, fast growing company, since if you get in early enough and on the right ship, doesn't matter what role you're in, it's going to be life changing. And she's not wrong. Take David Coe, who famously painted Facebook's first offices. Sean Parker famously offered the man $60,000 for the work he did, but instead he offered to take Facebook stock. And when Facebook went public in 2012 for $38 per share, Coe's stock was valued at $200 million. Okay, where's the opportunity here? When people search for a job, they primarily look at the job title or role, not necessarily the company that they work for. And even if they do want to find the company, it can be difficult to find those exciting ones. So why don't you build a job platform that offers this? Here's the idea. Create a jobs platform that only lists roles from high growth companies. Start by identifying certain sectors where there are many fast growing companies. You can do this in a number of ways by looking at their revenue, go to market, their traction, how much money they've raised from investors. Companies would then be graded across these various areas and those that make the threshold will be invited onto the platform. That's right, this is an invite only platform. 
it's going to be exclusive. This gives startups the chance to post their job to an incredibly engaging, high intent audience of employees. Start by identifying and outbounding these high grow companies and get them listed on the platform. Then you charge these startups to list a job on the platform. And if you want to be really cheeky, you could also charge the employees who want to apply for specific roles. The initial cost and management of this product is not going to be extensive. It's going to be very small. It's a jobs board at the end of the day. And jobs boards can be incredible cash flow businesses. Or if you wanted to build it up to a certain point, you could also exit. Jobs boards are generally valued at one to four X revenue. It's time for my favorite part of the video, an app that all parents need and no one is currently doing. A sleep tracking app, of course. One that tells them exactly how much damage the sleep deprivation that they're currently getting is doing to their health. That is, that is an easy win. It's not really. If you're sadistic, you could probably build that. But if you do want an easy win, end a stream of, ah, oh, it up. Just subscribe to Half Baked. Cheers.